Welcome back. So at this point, we are continuing our model. Now we want to build the subsequent story or subsequent flaws from what we have now. You see, there are various ways of selecting. Let's go through that. So I can select the elements one by one just by left clicking. Okay. But the only thing is that if I click on one, I'll miss the other one. So I have to keep my hand on the control tab and then I select them one after the other. This is one of the ways by which I can select, but it is a bit tedious to go all around like that. It makes it difficult for me to select the columns because it's only the columns that I want to take up, not the entire thing. I also have another way of selecting, which means that I just have to highlight the element. So this time around, just as you have in card, this is fencing. So I have to totally highlight what I want. If it doesn't totally cover it, it will not be highlighted. Okay. So I have to, and this time around in Porter, if you highlight the column and you don't highlight the text, it doesn't consider it highlighted. So you have to highlight including the text. Okay. You can even select the text and the column is selected. Okay. So you can do it that way. So I can highlight it and it works. Look, if I extend from here to that, because the beams will be in between them, it selects the beam as well. You get it. So then I have to come back and deselect the beam individually. So this is also another method by which I can do my selection. If I go crossing that one, any element that crosses its path, it will select it. That's also another way of selecting, but this time on, it's not going to favor me. The crossing would not favor me in selecting my columns only. Another option too, in selecting all these things at once, would be to come to my structure tree and then select the first column here. You see, it is highlighted. Hold my shift key and select the next one. The last one, I mean, all the columns in it are selected. This is also one of the easiest way of doing your selection instead of trying to pick it individually. Okay, so with this done, I want to repeat it to the top. I don't want to go to the second floor and then beat column placement again. So this is the simplest way by which you can go by it. Just right click and it's now telling you generate members to other story. So I bring it up here. Now, if I select story two and I say, okay, it's telling me that it won't undo it. Okay. Yes, sir. Go on. Click and it's gone. Let me go to the 3D and see what has happened. So you see, so the columns have now been generated to the ground floor, but look at it. As I was rotating, I write clicked on the mouse and then I'll just turn it. Okay, that's how rotation can be done using your mouse. Let's go to the plan view. Now, with this beam thing here in mind, now I am at the story two, I'm trying to place my beam here. So let me make this 250 and then my depth here 500 as I initially decided to do. So 250 by 500. That is my beam depth, okay? But my beam size is 250 by 500. Now, we already know how to place our beam. So I'm not going to bother you with that. Oh, I almost miss my beam, which means I have to go back to the beam and then bring it back. Another option too is just click on one, right click and say properties. So the property of the one you selected will be populated and I can place it immediately. It works. So my beams have been placed. It's beautiful. Okay. So let's go back to the plan view. And last story two. We can select everything we have here. Assume we wanted to populate this at the next level. We can highlight everything we have here with the same beam depth and everything. 
and then right click and say generate members to the other story so story 3 okay let's reward ourselves with a 3d view and it's beautiful so you see Prota is very very easy and it's friendly you don't struggle so much just follow the principles and it's so easy to model now next lesson we are going to learn how to place our slab and then we'll think of running some few analysis see you in the next lesson